be here. Oh, it, it, it is awesome. The, 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 uh, what, what God, you, you, what I want to start with is, uh, let's go back. All right. You said that you were a Christian before you experienced this uh, situation. Yes. Now, how did you come to the Lord, and at what age, and things like that? I was 30 years old before I ever heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, the first time I heard it, that's all it took. Wow. I knew I was a sinner. I knew that. I had had a kind of rough life. Uh, I'd been married and divorced, and I had three children, and I didn't know what to do next. My heart was broken. Uh, there I am with three children, hardly any money, mm -hmm. and a lot of responsibility. Yes. And my girlfriend called me one day and she says, Pat, come on over tonight. I have what you need. And I said, what's that? And she says, you need saved. And I said, what's a saved? <laughs> I had never heard about that. I, never yeah. under I didn't understand what she was saying. Exactly. So over I went, and there sat a pastor. His name was Ben Saint. And he explained and I'm giving you a short yeah, exactly. thing of this. He explained how all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Boy, he didn't have to talk about that long. I knew that. <laughs> uh, then he explained why Christ died. Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. Yes. And he was buried and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Wow. Can you tell I used to teach children? <laughs> but anyhow, yeah. um, then he said, and God loves you. And my heart just bounced in my chest, and I thought, God loves me? How does he even know me? <laughs> and he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. Uh, I had been raised in a church that you didn't talk about your religion. Okay. That was a personal thing. Yes. So I personally didn't do anything right then and there when the invitation was given in her living room at that house or at that time. Literally, I went home, went to bed, covered up my head, and asked Jesus to come into my heart and life, confess my sins to him. I said, I believe you died for me, and I want to be saved, and I love you, Jesus, and thank you very much for saving me. And guess what? He did. Yes. It was that 30 years it took to come to that point. Yeah. And when I got to the point, that was it. Now, now what, did you feel anything when you were? I knew that I knew that I knew that I knew. There was something inside that just... I was cleansed and saved. Praise God. I knew that. Never yeah. forgotten it. Yeah. And won't forget it. I, I like to walk down memory lane yeah. and to remember things. Mm -hmm. um, the next memory... I have a really wonderful memory that I'd like to tell everybody about is um, I needed to get baptized in water. Okay. So they explained that, boy, you do that, and you're just telling everybody that you just got saved and all this. And I said, woohoo, I want everybody to know this. Mm -hmm. So I, I got baptized in water. And oh, what a wonderful, freeing, more freeing feeling that yes. was. Then the same girlfriend told me that about somebody was coming to tell us about the Holy Spirit. And I thought, well, I've learned so far that the Holy Spirit come to live in me mm -hmm. when I got saved. And I thought, there's more? I wanted <laughs> to hear more. Yeah. So back to her house we went, or I went, and uh, he explained about the Holy Spirit and how he needed to be turned on like electricity needs to be turned on after the house is wired. And... He explained all that, and he said, may I pray for you? And I said, yes, and he laid hands on my head, prayed for me. Nothing happened that I knew of. Mm. Went home. I still must have had some of that old teaching in me, you know. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Uh, anyhow, I went home, and that night I went to bed early. And I crawled in bed, and I said, Lord, I don't understand what happened or what this is all about, but I want everything you want for me. And all of a sudden, I went from English into a heavenly language, wow. and I was baptized. I knew it. You received tongues right there yes, and then. Yes, right there and then. Wow. And my husband didn't come to bed for a long time. It was a good thing, because mm. it had probably scared him out of his wit. You know. <laughs> but anyhow, um, after that, uh, we, he, we both had children. We got married. And uh, we both had children, to, not together, but we each had children. Mm -hmm. And uh, we lived on a farm. I loved it out in the country. Um, 
we had several businesses 